Sometimes when you work with Google Tag Manager, the preview mode just doesn't work. And in this video, I will show you how to fix it. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. Google Tag Manager's preview mode is a very useful feature that allows you to test your setup before publishing it. However, sometimes it just doesn't connect to your website. And in other cases, it does connect, but it does not work as you would expect. In this video, I will share the most common issues and how to fix them. If these tips don't work for you, at the end of this video, I will tell you what to do next. All right, so let's take a look. The first possible reason why Google Tag Manager's preview mode doesn't work for you is that maybe Google Tag Manager's container snippet, which is right here, maybe it is not added to the source code of the website at all, or maybe it is added, but it is broken. There are several ways how you can check whether Google Tag Manager's code is on a website and whether Google Tag Manager loads on a site. So if we go to the website where you're working on, and then you click on three dots right here, by the way, I'm using Google Chrome, then choose more tools, developer tools, and then go to the network tab. Here, you should enter in the search field gtm.js. So in your case, it will be empty. Enter gtm.js and then refresh the page once again. If you see gtm.js file right here and its status is 200, it means that Google Tag Manager is installed properly and preview mode is not working for you because of some other reason. However, you might be facing another quite popular issue because, well, maybe you open the source of the website and you see your Google Tag Manager container snippet added right here. But if you open the developer tools and then look for gtm.js and reload, well, in this case, you won't see anything. Now, why is that? And one of the possible reasons is that when you copied the code from the Google Tag Manager interface and you forwarded that code to your developer, maybe you did that by pasting the code in the Google Docs or Microsoft Word or in some other rich text editor. In that case, those editors actually quite often change the quotation marks. And if in this case, if you zoom in, you will see that instead of regular simple quotation marks that are right here, we see in the code these quotation marks or maybe some other quotation marks that look differently compared to these ones. So even though Google Tag Manager container snippet is added, these quotation marks break the code and this never works. That's why you have to make sure that the container snippet, which is added to the source code of the website, is exactly the same without any modifications and it is the same as this one. Well, technically there can be some exceptions where the code might look different because maybe you're working with different Google Tag Manager environments, but right now let's not focus on those exceptions and just remember that you have to make sure that this code must be exactly as it is right here. Then another reason might be that you are working on different browsers or even different windows when it comes to regular browsing and incognito browsing. So for example, here, if I enable the preview mode in my Google Tag Manager container by entering the address right here, clicking connect, and then I'm redirected to that website, my debugging has to continue on this browser. And if, for example, I want to debug the same website on incognito mode while my preview mode is enabled on a regular browser window, actions that I do in incognito mode will not be visible in the preview mode because incognito mode is kind of isolated and a completely different window compared to the regular window of a browser. So if, for example, you want to debug something in incognito mode, you have to log into your Google Tag Manager account in this window and then initiate the debug mode from here. Or you can go to your existing preview mode in your regular browser window, then click right here, share, then make sure that this option is selected. That includes your Google Tag Manager's container ID as well. Then copy this link and open in the incognito window. It will work. Then I don't have the exact explanation for this part, but it sometimes just works. So if the preview mode cannot connect to your website's window, then just close both of these tabs. Close the website window, actually you can close all of them, and then close the preview mode tab as well. And then launch the preview mode once again. In some cases, this helps. So you should click that preview button right here, then enter the URL of the page where you want to debug and click connect. Now let's move on to the next tip. Sometimes other browser extensions might interfere with Google Tag Manager's preview mode. For example, various extensions that are designed to increase the privacy of the user might cause problems for Google Tag Manager. For example, Ghostery, Adblock, uBlock Origin, or other extensions that serve the similar purpose, they might cause problems when it comes to 
Google Tag Manager's preview mode. So if you have them, then you should either temporarily disable them, or maybe you can add Google Tag Manager's preview mode, which is tagassistant.google.com and also googletagmanager.com. Maybe you can add them to whitelist of that extension. Also, in some cases, even plugins that are not related to privacy enhancements they also might cause problems. So in that case, what you can do is that you can try to enable the preview mode of Google Tag Manager in incognito, because usually in that mode, you don't have many extensions enabled. And if preview mode actually works in incognito, it means that some of your extensions, for example, in my case, one of the Google Chrome extensions, they are causing problems. And it's difficult to identify quickly which exact extension does that. So then you should just disable them one by one. And then after you disable one, try to refresh or enable the preview mode once again. And at some point, if the preview mode starts working, it means that this particular extension was causing the problem. Then another tip is to try tweaking other settings. For example, when you try to enable the preview mode, you will see a pop up that will ask you to enter the address of the website. Here, you will also see this checkbox, try to disable that checkbox and see if it helps. Another option could be to install this extension, and I will add the link to this extension below the video. If you already have this extension, then try to uninstall it and see if it helps. Also, there is a chance that you already have this extension, which is Tag Assistant Legacy. So if you have it, try to uninstall it. Maybe it is causing the problem. If you don't have it, maybe you can try to install it and see if it helps. But if you're watching this video far in the future, there is a chance that this extension will not be available anymore. Because as of the moment of recording this video, this extension is already legacy. I will post a link to Tag Assistant Legacy below the video. Then another reason that might be causing the problem is content security policy. In a nutshell, content security policy is like a set of rules that your developers can implement on a website in order to increase security. And this policy limits certain capabilities that can be done with JavaScript. However, Google Tag Manager is also using some of those capabilities in order to inject scripts. So if the content security policy is too strict on your website and it causes problems for Google Tag Manager, you will then see this kind of error in the developer tools of your browser or something similar. The most important part here is that the error must say something about content security policy. Now, the only solution here is to cooperate with the developer of that website and ask to update certain rules of the policy in order to allow Google Tag Manager to work. Simo Ahava has published a blog post about this topic. And if you want to learn more, I will post a link to it below the video. However, if none of these tips helped you, I have a blog post with a much longer list of possible reasons. Some of them are quite edge cases, but maybe they apply to your situation. I try to keep this blog post updated and you will find the link to it below the video. And if after all of this, you are still facing problem, then post a comment below the video with the description of your issue, and then I will try to help. I hope that this video helped you fix your problem with Google Tag Manager's preview mode. However, if this video did not help you, take a look at the blog post where I share more solutions. You will find the link below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius. This is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.